What's going on guys? Uh, we're back again today. Uh, I'm going to get some progress done on the engine bay. I just have to pretty much scuff it up. I have some scotch bright green pads. I have a red pad laying around and I also have some sandpaper, but I'm just going to scuff up the whole engine bay um, as best as I can. I ended up priming that. I had a drip, so I had to sand that down again. Not a big deal. But overall, the repair looks pretty good. You can see I just like wiped it away, but it's, uh, it's looking really good. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over the whole engine bay with this scotch bright. Just try to scuff it up. I have gone over, I would say, like 60% of the engine bay with um, some sandpaper. You can see a lot of the scratch marks there from, I think, a 180 grit. So a little bit rough, but I just wanted to try to dig into the paint as best I can. But I'm going to do some of the scotch right now, and I'll try to go over the whole entire engine bay um, and the core support. Just get it all ready for um, primer. I'm going to be doing... Um, self etching primer I'll just do the whole engine bay because I have a lot of spots that have bare metal then I'll do a um, a filler primer just to get rid of some of the scratches and once the filler primer is done then it's time for actual paint so paint wise I haven't um, ordered any paint yet I'm not sure what color I want I mean I do know I want like a white but I kind of want a pearl white, but if I do a pearl white, I need to buy, you know, a base white and then do the pearl white. So it's like, I'm not trying to spend a lot of money, but I'll probably just do like a, uh, some sort of gloss white, you know, spray clear coat on it to make it pop and that's it. So for now, I'm going to get the sanding. over it again anyway I'm gonna have to cut a hole for the intercooler piping eventually What's up guys? Uh, I ended up getting this engine bay, John and I, helped me. Uh, we got this engine bay prepped for paint. So I'm doing self-etching primer first. Um, just so you can look at the bay, we ended up cutting um, two holes for the air cooler piping. This one's a funny shape. Uh, there's a story behind that, I'll explain later. But we got the shape cut out here for the air cooler pipes uh, here and here. Um, we, gosh, we sanded down the engine bay again with scuff pads. I went over a few more spots like the strut towers. Um, we ended up taking the nuts off, jacking up the car so the studs would lower and got all around here because there's just a little bit of surface rust. Got around the whole engine bay um, a good amount of times and then we just started prepping not too long ago with tape, um, the masking paper, and our amazing homemade paint booth. Um, so, it's a little ghetto, but it, it's going to work for now. So today we're just going to, I'm going to try to lay down self-etching primer because um, there's a lot of bare metal spots. So I'll just do the whole engine engine bay along with the core support and the self-etching primer. Um, and then probably tomorrow I'll do, um, I have filler primer to go over the self-etching primer. And once it's all primed up, it's ready for a base coat. So, but that's down the road. I got to find what paint I want first. So. I'm gonna get the spraying now. Nice little light coat.
Got some drippage. Some drippage. What's up, guys? Uh, it is the next day, so the primer has been laid down. As you can see, I got this uh, GoPro on a tripod right now, so it's a little weird. But um, I just went over the whole engine bay. Um, I wiped down. There's little like squigglies that come from the primer, um, plus a little bit of dust. Blah blah blah. I wiped it all down. I'm going to probably wipe it all down again, just like another once over. There's like little little dust particles I keep seeing. I had to sand down that area over here. There's this like, once you paint it all one color, you kind of see more um, little imperfections in depth. So I found a little a couple little high spots. Um, I don't know if it was like sticker residue or what, but I sanded that down real fast, got it pretty level. Um, but yeah, so far the primer looks pretty decent. Um, I had to shut the garage door, kind of set everything up again, but yeah, I'm going to go over the whole engine bay one more time with the rag, um, pretty much triple check everything, and then I'm good to go for the uh, high build primer, so we'll get to it. Do a few light coats. <coughs> Round two. That should do the engine bay for coat two. All right, round three. Round three done, I'm gonna let this dry up and then we're gonna wet sand it with 600 to 800 grit. So, now time to wait. All right, get this over with and finish this. All right, just finished wet sanding, did this whole engine bay twice with 800 grit um, I just washed it right now with soap and water and it's pretty good a couple spots showing the previous primer uh, which is not a big deal it just didn't go on as heavy there but it's feeling super smooth now so it should be good for paint um, in the upcoming video so thanks for watching appreciate it and we will see you guys in the next video